Can we get a huge welcome in the room for the one and only Lala? <laughs> hey guys. Hey Lala, thank you so much for joining us. We're, we're on course. remote. Yes, I'm in LA right now working on a movie. You guys are in the UK, so I'm sending all the LA love to everyone in the UK right now. Let me just say, first of all, thank you so much for fitting us into your schedule. I've seen you've been busy filming. I'm like, oh my God, we got La La. This is great. Like of in between course. filming. Thank you so much. It's really appreciated. Of course, appreciated. so happy to be here. Thank you so much for having me. How's it been? How's your schedule been? I know you're booked and busy. You got a lot going on right now. Like what's life like right now, La La? Chaos. Life is <laughs> chaos, but in a great way. You know, it's the things that you pray for and you wish mm. for and you manifest into your life and when it comes, it comes and you just got to roll, you know, with it. But it's been a little crazy. I'm currently filming a new Jonah Hill, Eddie Murphy movie here in L.A., which wow. has been really, really great and super exciting. So I've been working on that. And then, you know, my PLT edit dropped as well during this time. Mm -hmm. So we had an incredible like party here in L.A. and being here in the showroom and seeing the collection it's so cool. I'm just so excited to start seeing more and more people wearing the clothes and how the clothes are making people feel. So it's just such an exciting time all around. Monday, my son has his first high school basketball game. So it's like oh, stuff no happening way. everywhere. Oh my mm -hmm. God. Like honestly, taking a step into your life for a second there, Lala. It sounds like it's going off. It's busy. You, <laughs> yeah. uh, the, And this is what today's episode is all really about. We're talking about being a powerful woman with yes. the Miss Lala, you know, Thank and you. I think you are the perfect guest to have for this podcast because Thank you. you've just spoken about some of your many roles there. You know, you're a businesswoman, you're an actress, mm -hmm. author, producer, to name just a couple of the roles that you mm -hmm. do. If you could only do one of the roles that you do currently at the minute, what, which one would it be for the rest of your life? What would you go for? Of course, it would be being a mom. Being a mom. Being a mom, of course, is my most important role and the role that I would choose over mm. anything. Like my son... Cayenne comes before anything, which is why I'll get on a red eye flight and back and forth just to be there, you know, for whatever he needs. But I definitely, you know, show up for my son no matter what. Mm, you are the definition of just one one of these powerful women that gets what she wants, knows what she wants and gets what she wants. Mm. How do you juggle everything you've got going on with being a mom and with your incredible career? You know what? It's funny because balance is difficult. And I think I'm still trying to find that balance to where I can figure out a way to do it all. Mm. And I just realized, you know, in some days you're not going to be able to do it all. And that's OK. Like there are going to be days where you can't just do it all. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I think as women, especially, we beat ourselves up when yeah. we don't get it all done or we don't feel like enough if we're not doing this, that and everything else. And I think we have to be gentler with ourselves we have mm -hmm. to be kinder to ourselves and that's something that I'm really working on like self-care self-love being okay with saying no to certain things putting myself first I have a hard time you know with that so that's something I'm working on when you are having a little self-care day what does that look like Lala it's really like doing nothing to me so <laughs> because I'm so busy yeah. so like sitting in a room and watching movies with my son and making popcorn or sitting in a hotel room and ordering room service and just not doing anything. That's my mm. definition of like a perfect <laughs> self-care day. And then, you know, you can do other things. You can do a spa day or you can do stuff like that. But a lot of times for me, it's just doing absolutely nothing. I love that. I feel like that, mm -hmm. that's definitely one of my self-care days. I love doing nothing. It's yeah. one of the best feelings in the world. It's the best. We can't not talk about power. Of course, obviously power was a huge thing for you and a huge thing for us. We're all obsessed with power here in the Thank UK. Thank you. Thank you. And you were in power from the very beginning up mm -hmm. until recently, which spoiler alert in case anyone hasn't finished yet. I mean, where have you been? <laughs> where have you been if you haven't finished yet? Right. You, you, your character was killed off. Yes. How did it feel like going from beginning in that role to, to it coming to an end? You know, when you work on any show for six seasons, mm. everybody is family at that point. The crew, the cast members, like power is a family. So yeah. we're going to be connected for the rest of our lives, no matter what. And I'm so grateful to have had the opportunity to meet people that ultimately became my family. And of course, when it was over, I was sad. Like I didn't want my character to die. No one wants a beautiful thing to end. But I also realized it had to come to an end. And mm -hmm. I remember 50 telling me one time, wouldn't you want the ending to be something that people always remembered and people talked about? It wasn't just like my character just faded away. Like oh, it was she such didn't. an incredible <laughs> moment for television, you know, yeah. that my best friend 
killed me. It was such an incredible moment for television. So it's something that people will always talk about and people won't forget. And I'd rather that be what people think about when they think about how dynamic the character was and everything the character 100%. went through. So it's it's exciting and it also gives me a chance now to open up myself to new opportunities, n- new roles, new characters, new things. And that's something mm. I'm super excited about. And that scene must have been, I mean, I, I don't know what you actresses do, but that scene must have been pretty intense to film. I mean, that scene was intense. And I'm, it took I'm still all not day. over it. I am not that over it. That like, scene probably <laughs> took us, I'm not even exaggerating, probably took us like 16 hours to shoot. Wow. Like it's that long and people don't realize and imagine I'm laying there with a gun pointed in my face, you know, it's like it's it's a scary moment with a gun that close to your face and yeah. that's happening over and over and over and over again. And just the emotions behind knowing that it's it's the end, you know, the mm. end for the character, the end for my time on power, the end end of it all. So it was definitely an emotional day as well. Mm. So it was like a roller coaster of just emotions, but still being where I needed to be to get the acting part of it and technical too, because it was my first time really doing a scene where we had to kind of fight each other and Mm. then, you know, fall on the ground and have the gun come out. Like it's, that's such a technical thing as well that you have to be Mm -hmm. mindful of on top of, emotionally what's happening to you yeah and that's the thing as well like I think I it's only just clicked with you telling me how emotional it must have been for you as a person not you know mm. and not just the character as a person as La La to know that that was your final scene yeah it was it was it was tough it was intense but looking back now it played out beautifully I'm so it glad did. that people responded to it the way they did and whether you loved or hated the character you definitely missed the character I asked somebody yesterday about <laughs> Lakeisha, which was my character on Power, and they were like, you know, I thought I wanted you to die, but then when you died, I was so sad. I was so sad the character left. Like people had mixed emotions about it, but (gasps) I'm glad, to me that means that the character touched people in different ways, whether you loved her or you hated her, it touched you in a different way. Definitely. I'm a big Lakeisha fan, so I'm, I'm again, sorry, Thank I'm going to argue it with that person. <laughs> I was you. not ready for that. I was not <laughs> ready. You. And honestly, Thank the way it went down, that was not, yeah, I couldn't believe it. I was like, what? Thank you. But no, it's, um, she was a great character. She was a fantastic character. <laughs> Thank you. And I know you're very close with 50 Cent. So what was it like working with him on the whole project, you know, as an actress and as a friend? Oh, it's amazing when you get to work with friends who you admire, who you respect. Mm. He's such an incredible businessman. He's such an incredible friend. So it's been great to do power. And now actually come January, February, I'll start shooting BMF, which is yes. 50's other show, The Black Mafia Family. So season two, we start shooting that again, like in January, February. So 50 and I have, you know, made a promise that we'll always figure out ways to work together and, you Mm. know, continue to make sure we stay in alignment with each other. And it's been really great. So next up is definitely BMF. So I don't know if it's if it's in the UK right now, but BMF Mm. is the next show to definitely keep your eye on. I've heard, I've seen it all over social. I want to watch. I'm going to, I'm going to tune in to BMF. So everybody in the UK right now, we need to go and find where that's streaming. I, yeah, I so it's on to... Star, it's on Stars as well. Same, same place Power was. Got you, there you go. So that's yeah. where we can tune into that right now. And I know, Lala, you've said it's been a quite a hectic year for you mm-hmm. and you're focusing a lot on yourself right now. So yeah. what are your kind of goals and everything right now? What have you got going on? Apart from BMF goal... and every single thing you're filming. You know, work stuff is great. Like I want to continue to grow, um, My business, we're pretty little thing. I'm so Mm. excited about what we have going on here and people seem super excited about it. So I hope that this is the first edit of many and we can continue to grow and build together. I'm excited about, you know, the movie side. I just, like the other day I looked at Eddie Murphy and I'm like, I'm in a movie with Eddie Murphy. Like, this is crazy. Like, (laughs) you you still want to have those moments where you kind of take it all in and understand like, this is wild. And Eddie couldn't be the more nice, more kind, more patient, everything. So I had such a great experience. But movie side, that's good. TV wise, also, I'm on a show called The Shy, which is mm-hmm. on Showtime. Lena Waithe is, you know, the showrunner creator of that. And she's just amazing. So super excited for The Shy to come back and then start BMF in January, February. And right now, I'm getting excited for the holidays, you know, being around family, being able to kind of slow down a little bit. I'm really looking forward to that. Me too, definitely. Mm -hmm. I mean, like I say, you're so, so busy. And I think you touched on it a little bit before, but I really want to know who is your motivator in life? Who do you get up out of bed for in the morning? 
Well, it's definitely my son. You know, it's definitely my son. But I never want to be so busy to where I'm lacking in his life. Like, yeah. it's great to be busy, but you want to be present for the people that need you and the people that are important to you. You don't want people mm -hmm. to look back and be like, yeah, she was great, but she was always working. Like, you don't want that to be the story. You know, you want it to be, she was working, she handled her business, but she also mm -hmm. made time for the things that were, you know, important to her. So definitely my son, but my family, my friends, you know, seeing my friends do so many amazing things, you know, could be Kim, it could be Sierra, it could be Kelly. It, just mm. seeing everyone be so successful and do so much is definitely super motivating to me every day to get up and like keep going, um, not complain, you know, yeah. get it done because we all work really hard. Serena as well had a conversation with Serena this morning that I just felt like I needed to kind of get motivated again because you start feeling tired, you start feeling yeah. burnt out. And it's good to have friends that can kind of pick you up and say, come on, come on, come on, you got this, you got 100%. this, you know, it, it's important. 100% it's good to know you've got them girls there that you can go to that are like come on you know we got you you're all yeah. really hard work and successful women boss women do you know what I mean mm -hmm. killing the game so I'm glad Thank you know you. to know you've got them to lean on Thank but as well you. obviously you mentioned Kyan and you're a powerful woman like I say so what advice would you give to Kyan on kind of following in your footsteps and becoming a powerful man himself one day yeah you know I always want him to be respectful of people I think that's first mm -hmm. treat people well no matter who they are or where they come from or what level they're at, just be compassionate to people. I think yeah. that's a key to success. People want to work with and be around nice people. With all going on in the world, it pays off to just be a nice person. And I always tell Kyan that and I want him to go after his dreams, not for me or his dad. You know, what is it that he wants to do? What's going to make him happy? And we'll support him. And right now it feels like it is basketball, which he's doing so great at. But if it changes along the way, that's fine too. You got to find what mm -hmm. your passion and your purpose in life is and kind of live that out. That's definitely, would you say, I mean, from an outsider's point of view, I'd feel like that's definitely what you've done. Yeah, for sure. You know, I always said I never wanted work to feel like a job, if that makes sense. I wanted my work mm -hmm. to be something I loved and I've been blessed to do that. I know a lot of people out there, you know, haven't had that opportunity, but that's why I think it's important to find out what your passion is so you can yeah. figure out ways to live out your passion and, you know, live in, in that kind of space to where you feel like you're doing something that matters or that feeds your soul or that makes a difference. Even if it's not your job, even if it's a hobby you have on the side or something you do, it's important mm. to figure out what drives you, what that passion is. 100%. And you've once said, Lala, that when you walk into a room, you exude confidence. Mm -hmm. So what are your top three tips for our listeners on being confident? I definitely think it all starts from within. Like confidence mm -hmm. is from within. You ever see people where you're like, they might be have, have something on and you're like, I can never wear that. Or why does that yeah. look so good on them? It's it's inner confidence. It's how they walk in the room. It doesn't matter what they have on. They just have that thing. They just have that glow. And I think that all starts with, you know, inner confidence. So definitely one is definitely inner confidence. I think that's where it all starts. And I think when you walk in a room, you smile, you're social, you give people your attention when you talk to them. I think that's mm -hmm. really you know, Im important. You listen to what people have to say. You're not just doing all the talking. You learn so much yeah. from listening. I think those are important kind of tips when you go into a room, but it all starts with you. If you're not feeling good on the inside, I don't care. The hair, the makeup, all the pretty little thing outfits in the world, mm -hmm. like it's not going to matter. So you got to make sure, you know, you're good with where you need to be on the inside. Definitely. Mm -hmm. I love that. Good advice there. And I want to talk a little bit about the Power Playbook for anyone who oh, wow. doesn't know. Yes. You're an author. Yes. So I want to talk a, bit, a little bit about the Power Playbook. Can you tell us a little bit about it for anyone who hasn't read it yet? Yeah, so the Power Playbook is kind of just what we were talking about, finding your mm. passion, your purpose and living it out. You know, so many people go through life and never chase their dreams or never live out their passion. They just get yeah. stuck in, you know, this hamster wheel. And like I said, you can have a job, but you can still find your purpose and passion either in that job or in something else that, that makes you happy. So the Power Playbook was kind of my journey to success and different things that, you know, took me from point A to point B and just really helping people use what I went through mm. to ho hopefully help them in their journey or something like that. I love that. And mm. in the book, you've got the five rules to gaining real power. Okay. We're, we're, we're just talking about power today. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm loving it. And I, wanted, I wondered if we could play a little game. If I can okay. read off these five rules to you, if you can expand on them a little bit and tell us okay. what they really mean. Yeah. Okay. So I've got the rules here. So rule number one, 
I love it. Put yourself first. Yes, and I said it's so crazy. I wrote this book a few years ago, and mm -hmm. it's still something I'm working on. It's it's not. You're never done with working on yourself. You're never done with like, oh, okay, I'm done now. My my uh -huh. my job here is complete. We're constant works in progress. We're constantly evolving. Things are constantly changing. That's life. So putting yourself first is something I'm still working on mm. because I give myself to so many people. Sometimes it is hard to kind of put yourself first. And rule number two, your passion is your purpose. I feel like I feel like we're talking like what we've covered. But yeah, I love, it's so love, funny. Love, love and it's, it's, it's interesting that we're talking about it. But yeah, your passion to me is your purpose in life. What drives you? Is it helping young kids? Is it, you know, helping women? Is it helping whatever? Mm -hmm. What is your passion? Is it creating clothes that make people feel good? Like, what is your passion? Because that's your purpose in life. That's your passion should be what you feel like you were put on this earth for. Definitely. And rule number three, big one, do the work. Do the work. You have to do the work, which mm -hmm. is why, you know, I'm tired all the time. <laughs> I'm doing <laughs> this the work. Girl needs, this girl needs a nap. She this needs to get up some sleep. This girl needs a nap. But, you know, do the work. <laughs> like nothing comes easy and, you know, you have to do the work and put the work in and not be scared of the work and understand that it's not going to be easy. If it was easy, like they say, everyone would be doing it. If it was easy, the whole world would be doing it. You know, it's a chosen few that really can dig in there and put the work in and get it done. So definitely you got to do the work. And I love, I mean, I love all of these, but I love rule number four is it's know your worth. Yeah, know your worth. And that's in everything mm -hmm. in life. That's in mm -hmm. personal relationships. That's in professional relationships. Know your worth and understand the value that you bring into any situation, whether it's work related or like I said, personal life, mm. you set the tone for how people are going to treat you. You set the tone for how they're going to treat you in business in life. And that's so important. And I talk about, mm. talk to women about that a lot, especially in relationships yeah. and dealing with, you know, navigating through relationships. It's important. I feel like that's something that I think women, especially, obviously I can speak for us, for women, um, I feel like we really struggle with that. People starting out in the beginning can really, really struggle with that. Like whether mm -hmm. it is in a relationship, whether it is in a job, is just actually knowing like, okay, no, that's not acceptable or you right. know, whatever it is, it can be really hard. Mm -hmm. That's so true. And so number five is be gracious and grateful. 100%, wow. I'm like, I need to go back and, I need to go back and remind myself of these five. <laughs> it's so true. Like you have to walk in gratitude and just understand that life is, precious life is short life is a beautiful thing and you know just be grateful for it all the ups and the downs mm -hmm. there's lessons in every single thing we go through and just be grateful you know in all of it it's it's important because that matters you know that matters mm -hmm. to to walk in gratitude it really changes karma it really changes life around you i mean i'm a big believer in god and just mm -hmm. thanking god and being so blessed for the position i'm in and it's just never something i, I would want to take for granted Love that. Thank you so much for sharing those of with course. us. I'm, I'm so glad we got to go over them. Of remind course. you of them five rules. Yes, I, think I like those. They're rules we got to live by, people, okay? Yeah. They're rules we got to live by, as Lala says. So let's talk a little bit about the PLT collection before you go. Firstly, I, I mean, that. congratulations, obviously. What an incredible launch. Tell me everything about it. How's it all been? It's been so amazing. I mean, I'm. we talk about being grateful. I'm so grateful to Umar and Amy and the team at PLT. I mean, they really went above and beyond for my edit. And I hope this is the start of amazing business with them. Mm -hmm. I mean, Umar called me and was like, you got billboards all over LA and New York. I'm getting all the videos and pictures. I've seen some in LA, but to be in Times Square, and you know, mm -hmm. I'm sure you guys over there in the UK know about Times Square, but to be from New York and have billboards in Times Square is surreal and something that will never get old. To stand in the middle of Times Square where you were as a little girl <laughs> looking at lights and everything and see your face everywhere is a feeling that, you know, it gives me chills talking about it. So mm. I'm so grateful to Umar and Amy and the team for allowing all these amazing things to happen. And, you know, I just wanted to bring a piece of what I love to everyone out there. Like these are clothes that I would wear. These are clothes I wear for different occasions that make me feel a certain way. And I wanted mm -hmm. to share that. Like clothes give women confidence. Clothes make you feel confident. You put on an outfit, all of a sudden you're like, oh, mm -hmm. I, I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> clothes give you confidence. So I'm hoping that I can make someone's day a little bit better or make them walk into mm. a room and feel even stronger about themselves or go on a date and feel even <laughs> sexier about themselves. I want this edit to be able to bring that to the women who, who wear it and who buy it. 
I think it definitely brings that. It's definitely bringing that heat for me. Yeah, for sure, for sure. We love it. And honestly, like hearing you sit there and talk about seeing it in Times Square, like we see it obviously from a PLT perspective and we're like, wow. But for you to stand or to see yeah. it, you know, wh- you know where you're from is magical. And I, it was really nice to hear that from you actually. Yeah, it like, was awesome. I got chills, I got <laughs> chills then. Gratitude, gratefulness is, goes it. a long way for sure. I love that. And tell me about the party, because I know that you posted on Insta the next day, like you were still hungover. Oh my How God, was the, the party? party was crazy. And just shout out to all my friends and family that came out, like just to receive so much love. And everyone's mm. like, congratulations, you killed it. This is amazing. Like, it's so amazing. And when you see like, wow, people really show up for you and really want to show love to you. It's just such a great feeling. And I'm so grateful for that. Who were your plus ones to the event? Who did you take with you? My whole family came. So they were on flights from New York and Atlanta. They were wow. there and it was so nice to feel so supported by everyone. It was it was just a nice night and a nice moment. And it continues because the clothes are out now. You know, family and friends can wear them and buy them mm. and tell people about them. You ride around LA, you see billboards, you're in New York. It's like, it, it just keeps going. And it's such such a great thing. And if you had to pick one favorite piece from the whole collection, what would it be? One favorite piece from the whole entire collection. Oh my God, there's so many good, (laughs) there's so many good pieces. I mean, I think we've mastered like the perfect little black dress with a Mm -hmm. twist on it, like super sexy. I love a jumpsuit that we have. It's pretty sheer. You got to put something on underneath, but it just gives, (laughs) it just makes you feel like I'm the baddest (laughs) in this room right now. It just gives you that. There's another short dress with cutouts on the side and it's printed. That's so cool. I think what's great about the collection is there's something for everyone. Yeah. And I love that, you know, PLT is, you know, stands on just being size inclusive for everyone, Mm -hmm. you know, and everyone can feel great and look great. That, That was important to me. And I know it's important to the team over there. So it's just been a great collab. Oh, well, congratulations. And if you haven't shopped it already, guys, you need to head over to the website yes. and shop Lala, Lala's collection now because it's insane. It's beautiful. Thank you. And Lala, before you go, what is kind of next? I know that you've told us about all the projects that you're working on, but what can we expect in the next coming months from you? You can expect me to be at Cayenne's first high school basketball ah, game. Tell me, tell me, tell me. What's that yes, going to be like? It's going to be crazy. I'm going to be cheering like a wild <sighs> maniac. So you can expect me to be there. Um, <laughs> that's on Monday. I'm excited about that. And then just, you know, finish tying up some some last work stuff and really just kind of unplugging a little bit for the holidays. Mm. Again, when we talk about balance between work and personal life, you got to unplug sometimes. So it's going to be nice to sit on my mom's couch and watch movies and just eat what I want and just yes. not even care about anything. I'm looking forward to that. And then come January, we'll be back, you know, heavy at work with starting, like I said, season two of BMF. So definitely be on the lookout for that. It's an exciting time, Malala. Thank yes. you so, so much Thank for your time. You. I know you've got to head off on another flight. So <laughs> Getting on a we flight really, now. really appreciate yes. your time. But I'm Thank so you appreciative so and I really enjoyed this conversation with you today. Oh, it was lovely to meet you virtually, Lala. Thank you so, I know, I'm coming so, over so there much. soon. I told Umar I want to do the UK. I want to do uh-huh. Dubai. So we're going to do a little tour. So I'll definitely come see you soon. Listen, we'll, we'll be ready for you. We'll have drinks ready. We'll have everything ready for you. Can't I wait. I can't wait. <laughs> lovely to meet you, Lala. Thank you so you much. Too. And to all of our amazing followers, thank you so much. This has been the PLT Podcast with the incredible Lala. Woo! (laughs) Thanks, guys. Thank Thank you you so much. Thank you so much, babe. Lovely to meet you.